Don't move. Now click, now, that, click like that like button, button. Or, I'll or I'll blast you, blast you with, with my light, light blaster. blaster. This really is a light blaster. I know, it looks a little different, so stay tuned and I'll explain to you how this crazy little gadget will change the way that you think about backgrounds forever. Hey gang, you're wondering, what the heck is a light blaster? The light blaster is a strobe-based image projector that will allow you to turn a simple backdrop into an exciting new background with color, patterns, textures, or even real-world imagery. Most light modifiers only allow you one color or one shape of light. The light blaster lets you project an image onto a background or your subject, which opens up an infinite number of possibilities. And Light Blaster lets you use gobos, just like the old school Fresnel lights that they use in Hollywood. In other words, you're really only limited by your own imagination. Be sure to stay tuned until the end, and I'll show you some cool tips for how you can use a Light Blaster to create your own backgrounds and gobos that you can use in a studio or on location with speed lights and monolights. And I'll show you some results from my very first time using the Light Blaster. Here is a light blaster. This is the slide holder. The holder will allow you to use any one of the pre-made slides that are available in sets from light blaster, or you can use 35 millimeter slides. Heck, if you're an old guy like me, you probably have tons of them stored away. The light blaster has a Canon EF mount on it, and the company has a Nikon adapter available. Now, if you use Sony or Olympus or pretty much any other brand, there are tons of adapters readily available to convert to Canon eBay is the perfect place to find them cheap. The unit comes with a nice padded case and one slide holder and sells for about 100 bucks, which is extremely reasonable when you realize how much money you can save on backgrounds. The company also has a pistol grip if you want your light blaster to be voice activated. I've included a link to the light blaster website in the description below. So enough for the review. Let's put this thing to work and see what it does. The setup is really easy. Slide your speed light into the back of the unit and tighten the strap. Let me stress, tighten the strap. You don't want your speed light falling out. Pick a lens, mount it, and then mount the entire unit on a light stand, unless you have someone to hold the pistol grip. I started with the unit on a speed light swivel on top of a light stand, and while this works, fine tuning the aim of the unit is a little awkward this way. Then I mounted the unit on a tripod, which allowed me much more control and accuracy. In a conversation with Light Blaster's creator, Udi Tirosh, he explained that he uses an inexpensive ball head. You can get a ball head adapter for under 10 bucks on Amazon. I went with one that has a quick release head, and that cost me just $16, and I mount it on a light stand so that it takes up less floor space in my studio. Lens selection is pretty basic. If you need to cover a wide area and you're working in a tight space, a wide angle lens will be your choice. If you have plenty of room and don't need a lot of coverage, a 50 millimeter will work fine. And if you want to project onto a person or a small area, a telephoto will be much more efficient. I'm already bidding on some old inexpensive Canon lenses on eBay so that I can dedicate them to this piece of equipment because I see it being a regular part of my arsenal in the future. As I've mentioned in previous videos, the most versatile color background to use is a medium gray. With the Light Blaster, there are so many creative possibilities with really any color background. Black, white, purple, orange, you name it. You can even project into brick walls or pretty much any kind of surface and alter its appearance. Now I could spend hours showing you the possibilities of this gadget, and I still won't scratch the surface. So let me just walk you through my experimentation with it and show you what I learned. I started out with a 50 millimeter lens on the Light Blaster and this gobo with the circle patterns. This is part of the Light Blaster Pro Gobo set. These are all metal etched, heat resistant gobos that are extremely durable. You can see that with the Light Blaster placed about six feet from the background, the 50 millimeter lens only covers a small part of the nine foot wide backdrop, but it's enough to be able to shoot a nice portrait with a 100 millimeter lens on a Nikon D810. By the way, that reflector on camera left is a Walmart reflector being held by one of the PVC reflector holders that I showed you in this video. This is a finished one that I painted black. If you need to cover more of the background, a wide angle lens, in this case a 20 millimeter, will cover much more area, 
still from a distance of about six feet from the backdrop. For more options, you can place a color gel over your lens and turn this into this. Or this. These are still on a medium gray background with a metal gobo, a 20 millimeter lens, and the gels are just taped onto the unit with some gaffer's tape. Now remember, since you're using a camera lens, focus becomes an option. You can have the projected image from the light blaster be in focus or out of focus. Add to that the control that you have with depth of field from the camera and the lens that you're using to take your shot, and you've now expanded your creative range even further yet. Here's an example. With the light blaster lens focused, this gobo looks like this in the finished shot at f4. With the light blaster out of focus, the finished shot looks like this at f4. You could even use the light blaster as a spotlight. Here with the 50 millimeter lens placed behind the subject, or better yet, here with the 50 millimeter lens in front of the subject as the main light source. I mentioned before that you can use the light blaster on any color background. Here is a simple tree gobo on the medium gray background. Here's the same gobo on white. And here it is on purple. In each of those examples, if I vary the exposure and the degree of focus on the light blaster, the background will change yet again. Finally, let's look at some real portrait and beauty examples shot with a light blaster and one of my favorite models. Here is a cityscape from the Light Blasters Pro Gobo set. I'm using one LumaPro LP180R with a shoot through umbrella on camera right and a LumaPro LP180 in the Light Blaster. If I add a third strobe with an amber gel on camera left, I can add some rim light. By changing the positioning of the Light Blaster and the power of the LumaPro LP180, I can go from this to this. If I add a blue gel over the light blaster, I get this. Since this was the very first time I used the light blaster, I didn't have any of my own slides available. So using the same basic setup with a Walmart reflector and a shoot through umbrella and a rim light on camera left, I used this slide from the light blaster creative effects kit on a black background to get this. And to make this a more traditional portrait, I just have to remove the hair from over her eye and I have this result. If I want it to be a bit more moody, I can remove the rim and go back to the two strobe setup for this. And last but not least, here are some 35 millimeter slides that I pulled out of storage, some of which are 40 years old, but they make great background options with a light blaster. Or you could have slides made from your digital files for about two bucks a piece. I'll include a link to the company that I use in the description below or you can purchase transparency film for your printer and print your own. So there you go, the light blaster. Hopefully this gives you some creative ideas to get you jump started. Get out there and practice and experiment. And with a gadget like this, the sky is the limit. And think of all the money you'll save by not having to buy loads of muslim and printed backdrops for your portraits. So until next time gang, remember that your best shot, it's your next shot, so please, Keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios.